Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Sheltered 2, where of course the big showdown with the evil Church of Hope is almost here, which is all very, very exciting indeed. Our party are up on the surface, and they are very, very much ready for a fight. They are ready to take down the evil church once and for all, for what they did to our beloved Bernard. Now they did have to make a very quick stop over here to defend one of our outposts from an attack by the Black Roses, but it was a fairly straightforward encounter, I think it's fair to say. We went in there, we bopped them on the heads a little bit, and then they kind of died, and we claimed a glorious victory. So it was kind of like a little warm-up, if you like, for the big battle that lies ahead. So yes, barring any other kind of survivors they might run into, they have a pretty clear run on the church headquarters. It is only down here. It's not that far away at all. Wander through some woods, across a bit of snow, through some more woods, and then over here, then we can knock on the church door, and I doubt they're going to kind of invite us in with, you know, drinks and cakes and a nice platter. We're not going to have a nice sit down and a chat, I don't think. I suspect maybe there's going to be quite a bit of fighting going on. The church don't seem to be the type that would like to talk to us about things anymore. So I suspect, yeah, we're going to come up against quite a lot of opposition. Hopefully we'll get by. Hopefully we can muddle through. We've got lots of skills. We've got lots of kind of healing kits with us and bandages and all that kind of stuff. We've got people that can set bones and remove poison and everything else. So hopefully we have the skill set and the tools to win that fight. Fingers crossed. I'm very, very much looking forward to it. So here we go. Let's get time moving on, shall we? Uh, now, Barbara does have a great big list of repair jobs. Of course she does, because it's Barbara and she's back in the bunker. And now she's got to try and you know, repair everything up to the level that she would like because Betty did try her best whilst Betty was here and Barbara was out and about but I mean yeah Betty um, Betty is no Barbara let's put it that way so here we go let's just get time ticking on shall we um, and yes of course Ronald is over here doing some of the sort of code uh, refining or whatever it was he's kind of working on this program thing for the new order I think it was but yeah is it wearing him out hang on let's have a look it is tiring him out quite a bit he is getting very, very weary very, very quickly. He's doing quite a bit of very extensive computer programming. And uh, yeah, it's making him tired. Okay, do you know what? There's no rush on this, though. I don't think there's a rush on that. So, Ronald, um, after you've done that and after that bed is fixed, yeah, you come up here and have a sleep on that bed. And then when you've had a sleep, go back over here and immediately start refining the program again. But this time with, you know, sort of, yeah, a nice sort of clear mind. Not, you know, not going to be tired or anything. Okay, and then everybody else could we get down here and start doing some... Oh, hang on a minute. People are maxing out their skills now. Right, no point doing perception or intelligence, indeed, for Helen. Oh, crikey. Okay, Helen is really good. <laughs> Look at Helen's skills. They're amazing. Her stats are astonishing. Um, okay, apart from charisma, you're not the most charismatic of people, Helen. So you go and do that, please. That'd be lovely. Um, and then, yes, Kathleen is doing a spot of work on the uh, going up Pillmaster 28,000. Um, but, yeah, she can actually, she can use that. Although, yeah, her dexterity is 15. And that requires, yeah, dexterity required 10 to 15. So this is going to be her last kind of proper use of this. But that's okay. That's fine. Yep, you just keep running up on that, please. That is going to be good. Um, and then, yeah, everyone else has yeah, got their jobs to do. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Barbara. Barbara, did we tell you to mend... Did I tell you to mend the lightning rod? Uh, incinerator. Lightning rod, yeah, it's the last thing we're going to do. Um, okay, so now up here, can we also, whilst we're here, repair the wind turbines? That's going to be good. How many commands have we given you? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. got seven. Okay, right, and then repair the water collector and probably more importantly, repair the oxygen filter. That's got to be a very handy thing. Okay, right, here we go. Let's move time on. This lot in the bunker can just get on with various bits and bobs. Really, it's the guys out and about that we're kind of excited about. So here we go. Let's move time on nice and quick and get to the fight with the church. And they've arrived. The traveling party have arrived at the headquarters of the Church of Hope. Hello, Church of Hope. Can we come in and talk to you about our Lord and Saviour, Betty Cupboard? Do you remember Betty Cupboard? You should probably remember her because not that long ago, really, you killed her her husband in front of her, I believe, and she has not forgiven you for this. She is absolutely, utterly furious. She is bearing this grudge very, very openly indeed. And um, yeah, she's here to kind of kill you a bit, I think. I mean, if you do try and do some talking, I don't think she's going to be that impressed. So um, here we go. Let us investigate. Let's see what's going to happen here. Hello, everybody. Betty's come to sort this out. Oh, 
crikey. Despair, says this Lieutenant Obey. We can't abide by your presence at the sacred headquarters of the Church of Hope. We will cleanse you of your despair. I mean, there's a great big kind of statue thing there. Presumably of, I can't remember what the person is called. I mean, it's you know, Mr. Hope, isn't it? Um, there's a big statue there. Uh, there's kind of a wall and such like. It does look like we're outside. It looks like we're outside the church sort of headquarters, not quite inside yet. Um, yeah, okay, so we can run away or we can fight. We haven't come all this way to just leg it. So, nope, let's have a fight, everybody. Here we go. Rallying boost. Okay, I don't know what rallying boost does, but none of our people are scared. And all of our people are first. This is very, very good. Okay, so this chappy here at the front, you've got a hatchet. Okay, yeah, we don't want you to be using that because that's quite deadly. However, the others do just have rock clubs by the look of it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, let's take you out, I think. Let's maybe just hit you quite a lot of times. I mean, do we want to do something clever? I mean, Will could disarm this person and that would make him pretty useless. I mean, he can probably hit quite hard with his fists. He does have quite a bit of strength, but I mean, without his weapon, which is quite a good, it's quite a good weapon, I think, I think he'll be pretty useless. So, do you know what? Let's disarm him. Go on, Will. There we go. Beautiful. And he took a bit of damage as well. That's very good. Now, I don't think Will can do much else right now. Um, he can do a retreat attack. No, so you keep your points, Will. But that guy is now, you know, he's kind of effectively removed from combat, which is nice. Right, and then Sharon, you can just attack this person here. I mean, do we want to do something exciting? Do we want to do something exciting? We can't do... Oh, hang on. How do you do a thunderous uppercut? Uh, it does 120% base damage. I am tempted just to just to do a full-on attack on this. Just just wallop you with the hatchet that we're holding. Because I think that is quite effective. It's a critical hit. <laughs> oh, okay. A double hit. Okay, very good. Well done. Right, and then Sharon, can you do something else to finish this person off? No. Unfortunately not. Uh, do you know what? Keep the points. It's fine. Keep the points. It's okay. You've got two, uh, two stamina to take to next turn. Right. So now here's Betty. Now, do we finish this person off? Because Chris can backstab one of them and probably kill one of the guys at the back. So I think we finish this person off so they can't attack us. So here we go. So Betty, aim gunshot at that person. Boom. There you go. That one was for Bernard. Um, you're not doing much at the minute. So how about we just have an aim gunshot at you? 130 points. <laughs> Betty, I think you can finish this person off if you hit them. Um, that how have they got any health at all? What have they got? One, <laughs> really, game. Um, okay, and um, okay, Chris, backstab this person. Here we go, and boom. Oh, okay, that didn't kill them. I kind of thought that might have killed them. Do you know what? Just do it again. Backstab, backstab. Right, okay. So two are dead. That's a very slow, dramatic kind of Hollywood type of fall. Okay, so two of them are down. Uh, this chap here at the front. He doesn't have his weapon. That person at the back could well come along and hit us, but um, they only have one hit point remaining. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, yep, yeah, fine. We'll end our turn. We'll take some stamina points through to the next turn. So you're just going to do some, yeah, some proper fisticuffs, some proper regular melee fighting. And Will isn't bothered, I don't think. He's not bothered at all. And, oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. That person just bled out there. Oh, I, I feel a bit sorry for you. Not that sorry. I feel a bit sorry. Um, okay. Let's, let's just wallop you on the head. There you go. Critical hit. Are we doing it again? Yes, we are. That was brutal, Will. That was brutal. Okay. Let's just... Um, who would like to take this person out? Who would like to take this person out? How about... How about Sharon? There you go, Sharon. Wallop. There you go. Do you remember Bernard? The one you killed? That's why we're here and we're very angry. Oh, okay. More of them are coming in. Um, Father Ho. Oh, is that him at the back? <gasps> He's at the back. He's an actual character. He's an actual character, Father Hope. Oh, I weep for this world. So much despair and destruction. At least the children didn't witness what we became. If you must follow despair, then I must stand with hope against you. I see what you've done there. I see what you've done with your name. Um, however... I think you have no hope anymore because I suspect you might possibly be killed in a minute. You have got quite a lot of hit points. You have got 270 hit points. Okay, so a brand new kind of fight starts and he is first. Okay, 49... Ow, right, okay, okay. A broken arm on... 
Sharon. Okay, so Sharon is bleeding and Sharon has a broken arm. Okay, can we... Uh, that sorts out... That's a tourniquet, so that would sort out the bleeding. Um, and use item bandages, first aid kit. That's not going to sort out the broken arm, is it? I don't know who has got the skill to try and fix that. Um, okay, right. Well, right now, let's just attack. Let's just do a straight-up attack on this person that's in front of you and see if you can hurt them a bit. So just wallop them. A critical hit, which is beautiful. And another hit. Okay, right. That was pretty effective. Right, now she is bleeding. Can she use skill on self, extract poison? She could defend. Um, yeah, that's not good, is it? The broken arm is a bit of a problem. Broken left arm. Um, yeah, so she's going to possibly struggle to hit people. Do you know what? We'll give this a go. Let's just wallop you. Let's just do a straight up wallop on the head. Hopefully you can hit. And it's a critical hit. Ah ha ha. <laughs> there you go. Didn't matter about the broken arm, did it? Right. Now, if Chris is able to injure Mr. Hope at the back there a little bit with his backstabbing, do you want to weaken that guy up first? Or does, does Betty need to be the one to take him down? I think, although he is pretty brutal, isn't he? He's, oh, he's got a mega hammer. Oh, we need to take him out really soon. He needs to be he needs to be dealt with very very soon indeed. Okay, right here we go. Let's do some uh, let's do some aimed gunshots at Father Hope. So bang, seventy two poise. Okay, he must have some armor. Oh yeah, he's got a stab proof vest. Okay, now that's fine. Right, another aimed gunshot. Boom. Right, he's bleeding, so he'll take bleeding damage, and that's it for Betty. Okay, good job, Betty. Chris, finish this. I know it's not Betty finishing this. But Chris, it's fine. Betty is just going, do that, finish it for Bernard. And um, here we go. Backstabity backstab. <gasps> no. it You missed. Chris, you, that, that was your chance of glory. Here you go. You have another another chance. You, this is it. You have to hit this because I think he might do some serious damage to us. He's got a big mega weapon. Okay, here we go. For Bernard. For Bernard. He's missed again. <laughs> Chris. Chris, you never miss. Um, okay, right. Will has repelled somebody trying to daze him, which is very good. But now here comes Father Hope. Countering critical. <gasps> Will just walloped him right in the face. Oh, well done, Will. Good job. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Uh, Will, you can take out this person in front of you. Hopefully you can just wallop them in the face. Critical hit and a critical hit. They're in a very bad way. Okay, can we use a skill... A retreat attack. Okay, we could do that. So we could wallop that person, push Betty to the front, and then Betty could just shoot him. Just take out take out Mr. Hope there. I think that might be quite a fun thing too. Let's do a retreat attack. So hopefully that will kill you. So you're dead. And then we switch positions. Um, oh, no. They've switched positions diagonally. Lee? What? <laughs> oh no, Chris has gone to the front. No, I wanted to switch position with Betty. Not with the person... No, I, I don't really know what's happened there. Okay, something weird's happened. Um, now, this is this is the big thing. Do we... Do we just... Hang on. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. You... Um, Sharon, you're injured. You're a bit hurt. So how about you use an item... Use a... Use a... We'll also cure bleeding. You are bleeding and you've got a broken bone. But I don't think the first aid kit is going to fix your broken bone. So how about you use some bandages to stop yourself bleeding. So that will stop you taking some damage. There you go. You've recovered from bleeding. I think it has to be Betty to take out Father Hope. And if Betty fails, then Chris can have another go at walloping him with a crowbar or whatever it is. A rebar thing. Um, so Sharon, you hold on to those points. Betty. Oh no, you've only got one shot left in your uh, in your rifle. Betty, here we go then. Aimed gunshot. Are you able to kill Father Hope? The last person standing. If you get rid of him, Betty, that's it. That redemption. Redemption. The Church of Hope will crumble and they shall they shall rue the day that they crossed us and killed our beloved Bernard. Here we go. Betty, it, it's all down to you. Now is the time, Betty. He's dead. <laughs> Yes, for Bernard! There you go, Church of Hope. Ah, oh, they should never have done that. They should never have taken Bernard out. We could have been friends with them. 
I thought they were going to be friendly, but nope, nope, there we go. We've had to take them out. And we get all their goodies as well, just as the, yeah, the final insult against the church. Um, so some animal fat. What on earth is that? Some desperate meat. Uh, is that people meat? I don't want meat made out of people, thank you. We'll take everything except that, because that is inherently wrong. Um... Yeah, we'll take all your stuff. We'll take all of the lovely things. There we go. Um, yeah, confirm that. And now what happens? I don't really know what happens now. Uh, lots of people getting all sorts of exciting kind of buffs and boosts and things. Uh, William has got a dexterity of 17 now. Wow, he can like leap around the place and all sorts. He's very, very, very sort of uh, very pliant and limber. Um, okay, there we go. They're all a bit dead. Father Hope. Look at Father Hope's stats. 19, 18, 20, 17, 19, 18. Wow. I mean, the people we had sort of had to fight alongside him were pretty good, but his stats were almost perfect. Not quite. I mean, charisma of 20. That is very good. Okay, there we go. So now what happens? You have gained control of this region. The Church of Hope are no more. They are gone. Inside a trading, traders will have extra items to trade. That is... That's the thing we get from taking out the church, isn't it? Hang on, where is it? It's down the bottom here somewhere. Um, yeah, wipe out or allied with the Church of Hope. Traders will have extra items to trade. Okay, so two down, two, uh, two factions down, another, what, four to go. New Order and Old Clan, we're very much on the way with. CTK Mob and Black Roses, we are struggling with a little bit there. We'll have to do quite a bit of work on those, but we've done it. We've done it. We've taken out the Church of Hope. Do you know what? That went very well indeed. I mean, Sharon is a bit injured. Sharon, I think, still does have the broken arm. And William took a bit of a knock there. But I mean, look. Look, that's hardly anything. Look how little um, little hit points Betty has compared to everyone else. Chris has got double the amount of hit points that Betty has. I'm not entirely sure what dictates hit points. I would guess strength. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Okay, there we go. We, we've done it. We have done done it oh that's wonderful i'm very very happy now how much do we have in terms of carry capacity we've got a little bit left is it worth heading um, hang on a minute hang on hang on there's a uh yeah, let's change our route so could we pop over to here and do a spot of hunting to get some more fancy meat and leather hopefully some lovely tier two leather would be quite nice and then head over to there to see if we can pick up that sort of a big pickup truck frame thing. Because that would be really good. If we just go to there and do a spot of hunting, that would be quite nice. And you know what? We'll give you loads of rations. It's okay. They have twice as many as you need. Um, and then head over there and see if that's there. And then head back home. Do you know what? We'll just get straight back home. So yeah, let's give you... Do you know what? Have all of them. Have every single ration for that entire trip because you might as well. There you go. Right. Confirm that. I mean, that's that's wonderful. We've taken out the Church of Hope. Now, does that mean we've got all their things? Um, yeah. I, I don't know kind of what we've got control of now and what we haven't got control of. <laughs> Presumably we have some land. It doesn't kind of reveal itself to us, though. So I guess we don't know we own the land that's underneath the sort of fog of war. So there might be a thing popping up saying, hey, you're being attacked. The, you know, so-and-so is having a go at your outpost, but we might not know where it is. Um, yeah, we have this one. That's definitely ours. Um, okay, yeah, this is all very exciting. I like this. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Could they go hunting here and there and over there? And then not over there. And then pick up the bike, the, the car frame thing. Because we are in some woods over here. Hang on. Hang on. Delete all waypoints. Hang on a second. How many are over here? Um, can we go? Hang on. When we go to there, it says animal density loads. But when we go over to here, it doesn't say anything about the animal density. Or down here. Why is that? Is that because there isn't? Then there's no animals in this bit. Can we hunt in there? Yeah, we can hunt in there. Do you know what? We'll we'll stop off here, and we'll do some hunting. Then we'll go to right in the edge there and do some hunting. And then we'll go there and, yep, search, <laughs> like so. And then we'll go and then we'll just travel to there. There you go. That'll do. Right. And then have all of the rations, please. 
and just tick, 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 tick. There we go. Okay, and confirm that. This is like a victory kind of parade now because we've taken out an entire other faction. If I'm being honest, if I'm being completely honest, I am suspecting that we might have to possibly take out the CTK mob. We might have to find their headquarters and maybe have a bit of a rumble with them. I can't see us getting on, you know, getting into their good books anytime soon. They seem to be very hard to kind of, you know, sort of uh, become friends with. So I think maybe we might end up fighting them. Hopefully not. I'd like to become friends with the others that are still here, but you know, I suspect maybe they're going to be trickier to sort out. But okay, there we go. The Church of Hope have been dealt with, which is wonderful stuff indeed. I'm very, very happy. They are gone. They have been dealt with. Splendid stuff. The incinerator is... Uh, it is still burning. It's doing something. There's a bit of fuel in there, which is okay. Um, but yeah, I think... I think, yeah, so I got a bit confused by this last time. So it says hours remaining infinity. So I think what's happening is we're able to generate right now enough power to you know, run everything. So everything is being sort of you know, managed by the fuel down here in the generator. And there is a little bit of fuel in there left, 0 0.08 fuel left, um, and the wind turbines. So currently everything is fine, which is why the incinerator is not sort of expending any power right now. So it's a sort of, I guess we're just sort of keeping it ticking over rather than making it burn stuff for power. Um, but then, yeah, let's say it suddenly became, oh, hang on a minute. You're incredibly tired. Let's do that. Um, let's say that it, the wind dropped and these weren't spinning around at all. The incinerator would then kick in and the hours remaining would tick down because it would start burning stuff. And we take the power from what we burn and put it into powering things around the shelter, if that makes sense. So that's why that says that it's on infinity hours remaining at the moment, because we don't need the power from it, because our power needs being met with other means. Okay, what has happened here? And they've encountered other survivors. Oh, okay. I'd like to do a bit of hunting if we could. I'm not so bothered, but it would be really handy if we could. Um, okay, right. A group of four scary looking people. Um, creeping around like that might get you hurt. Oh, Linda. Oh, Linda, Linda, Linda. Have you heard of the Church of Hope? Yeah, well, they don't exist because we just went and killed them in the face. So maybe you lot should just go away. Um, trade, attack, or flee. I mean, I don't want to attack them. But I kind of want to do the hunting. Do you know what? We'll run away. We'll try and run away. It's fine. There we go. We've, we've legged it out of there. So now I guess we're not doing the hunting. I assume that's not going to be happening. Uh, Ronald is doing okay with this kind of programming thing that he's got to do. Right, Helen, get down here. Charisma book. And do you know what, Barbara? What's your charisma like? It's okay. Your perception is very low, however, Barbara. Um, so yeah, let's get your perception up. Go and read some books, please, Barbara. That's going to be nice. Because normally you're dashing about the place repairing things. You can have a nice little relaxing read. That'll be very lovely for you. Um, and then, yeah, Ronald... Okay, so Ronald, stop doing that and then go and do go and do everything, basically. Go and have a sleep and a shower and go to loo and eat some food. Oh, hang on. Actually, Ronald, belay those orders. Go and repair that thing before it implodes and we end up with a kind of uh, a fan base kitchen fire. Um, and then, yeah, go and grab, uh, go and grab some food. Why not? Have that bit. And then have, oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, no, you're not clean. You're not clean. Don't, don't have food. Uh, go, here we go. This is what we'll do. Go to there, then have a shower, then eat some food. That will do. Um, and then have a drink and then go to bed. And then when you've done that, clear that first order of yours, come back here and keep working on refining the program. There you go. You've got a nicer to go. That's your day planned. And I think a trader has arrived. Who is out the front? It's Grace. OK, right. You do kind of fighty stuff, don't you, Grace? Um, I'm not entirely sure we need your services, Grace. I don't think we need any of these things at all. Um, yeah, maybe, ooh, the three-star sledgehammer. I mean, I know we did get rid of one of those a long time ago, but it's fine. We, we've developed since then. Um, hang on a second. Hang on. Let's go and have a look. This is, oh, no, that's ordering. Hang on. Filter. Um, weapon. Do we have a three-star hitty hammer thing? No, we don't. We've got a couple of two-stars. Okay, so what if we were to say, can we please have... The three-star big kind of hitty sledgehammer thing. Um, could we trade you some pointless rubbish that we don't want? Like all of these knuckle dusters. 
We don't want these. These are pointless things. We don't care about those. Get rid of those. And that frees up a bit of room in this sort of storage as well. Um, and then we'll get rid of that regular baseball bat because I don't think we need that unless we can break that down and chuck it in the incinerator possibly. Um, and you know, we'll give you a, we'll give you a tier one pistol as well because we don't need that. And I mean, do we need a tier one rifle? And we've got a tier two rifle, a tier three rifle. Do you know what? No, you can have that as well. You're welcome to a whole host of exciting weapons from us. Uh, and then even a tier one shotgun. I don't even think we need that. So have that as well. And there we go. That's fine. We'll just get rid of a load of weapons that we don't really need. We're not really likely to use these at all. And um, yeah, okay. We'll trade those away. I don't think we need any bullets. Do you know, 106 ammo for the pistol. Um, shotgun... 49 shotgun, whatever his shell thing. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. Attempt that trade. That's all good. Pleasure doing business with you, Grace. That was very nice indeed. Um, yeah, Barbara, you, you can stop reading, Barbara. If, if you do need to eat or go to the loo or whatever or have a shower, you can do so. I didn't mean just, you know, read perception books until you collapse from exhaustion. <laughs> you can, you know, go and do other stuff as well, Barbara. Silly Barbara. Um, okay, how are we looking over here? They're doing some hunting outside, which is very good. Um, how is Ronald looking with this? Let's move time on nice and quick. Ah, we have some black rain upon the surface. And Grace has just stood out in it. Come in, Grace. <laughs> Come in, please. I don't like the idea that you're stood out in this kind of whatever this is. This radioactive muck, this, I mean, some people have suggested it might be coffee falling from the sky. I don't know. Please come in, Grace. It can't be healthy for you, so it stood out there in this potentially acid rain or whatever. How is that dealing with things? Um, seven, lots of contaminated water in the now, ticking up to eight. I mean, we're not struggling for tea, are we? We're not struggling for tea at all. It's all looking pretty good. And I think... Hang on, let's check Ronald's tiredness. Ronald is doing very well. Kathleen just checking that he's doing it properly. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you go back and read a charisma book, please, Kathleen. Um, I think he'll be done. I think we can get this done. Hang on, they're going to do the hunting first. Okay, there we go. We've done a spot of hunting over there. Can we please get some better stuff? That is much better. That is what we want to see. Plenty of lovely tier two meat. We can make the nice kind of cottage pie stuff with that. Um, only, I oh, know, two bits. Two bits of tier two leather. Okay, that could be very handy. Uh, okay, yeah, take all, I did press confirm then. Take all of that, please. Then confirm, I've you know, learned that lesson. And then, um, yeah, let's go over there and see if that kind of vehicle frame is there. And if it is, and we can carry it with us, we'll grab it. If we can't quite carry it, we'll drop off a load of stuff because we probably have picked up a load of stuff that we don't really need. So we'll drop off a load of junk and then try and bring that vehicle frame back. Because that could be very good. But here we go. Let's move this on nice and quick. So, Ronald, how are you doing with this then? You're going to finish doing this thing. Hang on a minute, Helen. Um, come down here. Yeah, charisma. Go back to a charisma book, please. Absolutely wonderful. Right, yeah. So you're going to finish working on that. Is that now done? Do we need to do any more of that? No. Okay. Let's contact... <gasps> Eradicated. Oh, that's a very fancy way of describing it. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. Eradicated. We went in and, you know, killed them to death a bit. Marvellous. Um, okay, so new order. Quest. We've done it. How's the program coming along? Are you close? We'll need to be prepared. we find the facility. You need to be ready, okay? Uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of done, isn't it? Is it not done? <laughs> I think it's done. I think I think we've done it. Can we request an alliance? Denied. Oh, okay, fine. Um, I think we've we've done that. There must be a certain timeout on it or something then. There must be a timeout on that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Ronald, whilst you're there, can we plant some, I don't know, mysterious tier three seeds? Let's see what these are. And let's have a look. Um, alfalfa. Okay, right. And somebody is at the intercom. Hello, how are you? I'm here to make your life easier. Oh, Sharon. We've already got a Sharon. We can't run another one. That'd be very confusing. Um, again, we're going to turn you down, Sharon. It's a shame we can't have like a, like sort of, you know, like hotels and motels have, like a no vacancies kind of sign. Can we not build one of those? <laughs> He's put out a sign and say, no vacancies, sorry, because if you join us and all nine of the keepers of the tea are in the bunker at the same time, you might possibly, you know, suffocate to death. So can we not have a sign saying that? It would make life a lot easier, wouldn't it? Um, you seem very good, Sharon. 
You start with a charisma and a fortitude of five, but I'm afraid, as always, it's a no from us. Take the tea in the corporately branded mug and drink the tea and take it with you and enjoy it. Um, there's loads of the factions around. And now you can't also join the um, church. You can't make the mistake of joining the church because they don't exist anymore. Hurrah! Okay, so Barbara and Ronald just keeping things ticking over back at the bunker and our travelling party have now finished searching the uh, the petrol station thing over here. Please say that that big kind of vehicle frame is still there. It is. However, we can't hold it right now. How big is it? 450. Are we not that far off though? We're not that far off sort of carrying it at all. Okay, so hang on a minute. Let's order things by weight. What is the heaviest stuff we're holding? Right, these club things, we don't need those. They're completely pointless. Away with those. Now we can take the pickup truck chassis with us. I mean, I mean, do we put it in one of the bags? I don't know. Like a bag of holding? I'm not sure. Right, so we'll take that with us. And it would be really handy if we could take the coal with us. How big is that bit of wood? Uh, weight 3, weight 20. That's weight 3 down here. No, I, I think we're going to be really pushed, aren't we? We're going to really, really struggle. Um, although that is... I mean, that shotgun is a weight of 25. I mean, it's very good for trading, uh, although the, the rifle there, they're not the things we're... Oh, hang on, hang on. We can get rid of the knuckle dusters. We don't need the knuckle dusters. That's fine. Get rid of those. Um, yeah, I wonder. I wonder. They're not the weapons we're holding, obviously, because we didn't bring a pistol with us. So these are ones that are just you know, in the inventory that we've picked up from something else. Maybe, can we get rid of that and then get rid of that rifle? Because that has less trade value. So get rid of that. And that means we can pick up one of the bags of coal. We can pick up two of the bags of coal. There we go. And that can keep the generator going for a bit. And then we will pick up... Um, I don't know. We've got one of the bottled waters. Because that's tier two plastic. We can get out of that. Very nice. Um, and then... Uh, I mean, we might as well take the pistol ammo with us. Because we can hold it. And then everything else... Oh, hang on. There's... Tier 2 sand. How much is that? Weight 12. Okay, but hang on, hang on. We must be able to get rid of stuff to the value of weight 12. Um, okay, these are all weight 0 0.1. They're all tiny. They're all tiny. The spring is 0.5. Oh, I can't, I'm not getting rid of the meat. I'm not getting rid of the meat because that's what we came for. Um, we've got a capacity of 1 right now. So we need to find 11 weight. Um... I mean, tier, th tier 3 valves and tier 3 pipes, these are really good things. Cement is always really handy. Do you know what? We might need to leave that bit of tier... Or do we take... Hang on, hang on. Can we get rid of that one lot of coal and bring back one lot of tier 2 sand? Just to make sure that we have enough sand to build the big punch bag thing that we're struggling to build. Um, and then we'll take a rock. Because why not? Oh, we'll take some buckets. There you go. Take a couple of buckets with us. There you go. That's fun. What a unique mix of things. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll leave behind a bit of coal, which is unfortunate because that is handy for burning, but it's fine. I think we've got some back at base anyway. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And now just head straight home. Don't bother stopping off anywhere. There is no point. You can't carry any more stuff. So uh, yeah, just come home, please. Okay, bit of a sandstorm up on the surface, but that's good for us. Oh, hang on. It's not so good for that wind turbine. Hang on, Ronald. Would you like to go out in a, in a sandstorm up to the surface and just give that wind turbine a bit of a repair? I must have missed it when Barbara did the rounds last time. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is good for us in terms of the sort of uh, power that this can supply. Oh, no. Ronald has heat exhaustion. Why? It's 34 degrees upon the surface. Oh, my word. Ronald, hurry up and do this. And then you can go and stay. He's losing health. Oh, dear. Okay, right, Ronald, hang on a second. Go and stand in the cool room. Uh, do you know what, actually? Go and repair that fan. <laughs> you love repairing that fan. I didn't realise it was that hot up on the surface. Oh, dear. But do you know what? Yeah, at least it's windy. So they're generating a lot of power, which is very, very good. Can we go and see how much they're generating? So I imagine the furnace has still got, yeah, 0.42 fuel in because it doesn't need to burn that up because we have enough power anyway. And is that also keeping its fuel? Yeah, generator fuel is 0.08. So we don't need to actually use that little bit of fuel in the generator because, yeah, the turbines are generating enough power anyway. Okay, right, this is not ideal. Other survivors, please don't fight us. Please be nice. Let's do some trading. Um, it's... 
It's Betty. <laughs> We've encountered people from the Mirror Universe again. Okay, so Mirror Universe Betty is saying, oh, don't sneak up on us. Okay, we'll try and run away. And... Hooray! We've managed to run away. Betty legged it away from Betty. Um, right, Ronald, yeah, can you get down here, please, and go and stand in the cool room? Because then that should... There you go. You no longer have heat exhaustion because you're stood inside a really, really cold room. Is there anything we can make? Is there anything we can make right now? So if we want to make this... Yeah, we can make quite a lot of the cottage pie. That's very good. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and yeah, Ronald's got intelligence of 19. Well done, Ron. So when we bring that meat back, we can make quite a few of those. But then is there anything else that we need to start growing? Again, maybe some more broccoli and some more potatoes. Although I think... Um, oh no, it's only it's 28 degrees now. Maybe because it was a sandstorm, it affected the heat a bit. Um, yeah, get down here and harvest those alfalfa thingamabobs. So you do all those. That's very good. Thank you. Hang on a minute, expedition party. Wait there a second. Um, and potatoes. Fancy potatoes. And right, other survivors. Here we go. Is it going to be you know, Mirror Universe Barbara? And it's Matthew saying, what do you want? I'm armed, you know. Yeah, so are we. You don't want to have to fight us, Matthew. Hooray! <laughs> We've managed to spare his life as well. Good stuff. So yeah, let's plant those. Uh, and then... Let's go up to, let's go to the greenhouses and let's plant some broccoli. Um, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, broccoli seeds and broccoli seeds. And we can make broccoli soup out of this as well. So there we go. Lovely. Just three lots of broccoli in the little greenhouses. Very nice indeed. Oh, crikey. The expedition party have ran into somebody else. My goodness me. It's very busy around here. Lots of survivors wandering about the place. Okay. Uh, hello, Charles. Um, okay, Charles has some food. Um, what are you doing here, Charles? It's a pleasure to meet somebody who has a lovely green happy face. Um, yeah, let's do some trading, Charles. Okay, but be quick. Um, okay, I kind of feel like we should trade something because it gets us a nice charisma boost. How about some tier one nails for some tier one nails? Apparently this is not good enough. <laughs> this is an unacceptable trade. Um, okay. How much are they? 0.75. Really? Trade value. Um, uh, I, I mean, is it worth just giving away the tier 2 nails? We can probably... Hang on. I've got four lots of that animal fat. Just give him one lot of animal fat. There you go. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I don't think we need anything else. Or can we take the paint can? Uh, oh, do you know what? Yeah, let's take a paint can. Why not? And have another bit of animal fat to cover your costs. Um limestone i don't think we'll be able to carry that yeah weight 12 no we've got no chance of carrying that i think the paint uh under the paint's weight 10 no we can't even we can't even do that hang on a minute get rid of that uh yeah there you go pleasure doing business with you a really bad deal i mean it's not the most exciting of trades is it <laughs> there you go <laughs> splendid right thank you but there you go that was what we did it for a nice great big hit of charisma xp for william there Okay, just looking at this again, our kind of work that we did for the New Order with the refining of that kind of program they gave us that Ronald very, very dutifully got on with and did very, very well, I'd like to point out. I think maybe there was a bit of a time limit on that. So it says there, we need to be prepared for when we find the facility. So maybe they're out there now with that scientist guy we rescued ages ago. Maybe they're looking around for this sort of science facility. And then when they find it, they're then going to give us a call and say, right, okay, we've found it. Can you please you know, give us this code thing that you worked on because we need to get through the doors with your code or whatever. So maybe there was a bit of a time limit on that. And that's why they're not kind of ready now to accept that we've done the job because, um, yeah, they've not found what they're looking for quite yet. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Or maybe they'll come back to us. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But the good news is the traveling party are nearly home, which is wonderful. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we just get people to very quickly just go and use the facilities just before the travelling party come back. I don't want, really want queues you know, outside the loo and such like. However, I think there they are. They're all coming home. Quickly, Ronald, nip to the toilet. And here we go. We should have plenty of storage capacity because we built a great big kind of crate thing last time. Okay, right. Take everything. Oh my word, we've got we've got so much stuff. We're back in the red already. But of course, a big chunk of that is a great big kind of car frame thing. Right, everyone needs to go and have a drink and a lie down and all that sort of stuff. 
Um, okay, so, Ronald, can we now go over here, before I start using up the fancy meat, can we make as much of this as we can do? Seven lots of that. That is very welcome. We've still got plenty of peas and onions and carrots and everything else. But yeah, okay, right, get that done. And that uh, sometimes that does generate more than just one meal at a time. It generates quite a lot of meals. See, so how many meals do we now have? 11 on there. We've got 29 on there. So math with pens, that makes 40. And five on there, that's 45 prepared meals. And I think as well, we're not likely to come back with any kind of, uh, any tier two uh, meat anytime soon. So we could use up some of those peas. Oh, hang on. We can do a little bit of that with the stuff we had. That's quite good. I think we use up some of the peas to make pea soup because we've got plenty of peas and of course we have plenty of uh, plenty of tea because it's made with tea, not water, obviously. And we've got loads of tomatoes as well. Do you know what? Just do that. It's not the best of meals, but it's better than no meals at all. I'd rather have prepared food. Okay, end of week report. Eradicated. Wow. Look at that. Even their banner sort of flag thing is blood spattered. Oh, do me. Um, okay. Oh, what's this down here? What is this down here? We are being attacked by the New Order. New Order, please don't attack us. We, we just did loads of work for you, you fools. I'm very tempted to just go into your base and bosh you on the heads. Um, okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We kind of knew that. Um, right. Oh, that's fine. Black Rose is attacking a thing for Los Muertos. New Order attacking an outpost belonging to us. Outrageous. That, that's that's scandalous stuff right there. We're helping you, New Order. Why are you attacking us, you fools? Okay, right. We need to get some people to go out and about again, which is all a bit unfortunate, but never mind. Right. So first things first, however, Ronald, do a load of cooking. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Lots of lovely food filling the shelves for much better when there's loads and loads of proper meals. And do that again. We've got loads and loads of peas. It's fine. We can always grow more peas. They grow very, very readily indeed. So yeah, we are going to use a bit of water, but that's okay. We've still got 508 tea in reserve. I think we can muddle through. And um, yeah, repair that thing again. Incoming radio transmission. Here we go. Is this the um, is this the new order? <laughs> Saying, hey guys, thanks for the help. By the way, we'd like to uh, take your stuff off you. Um, yeah, okay. Um, the three days are up. Oh, were there three days? I, I didn't realise there were three days to the limit. I don't remember you telling me that. But okay, right, we, we did it, fortunately. Please tell me you have finished the programme. Great. Please transfer it to us so we can prepare the hacking terminal for you. We'll let you know once we're ready to proceed. You did well. You will be rewarded for this loyalty. Okay, do you have any jobs to do whilst we're here? Um, yes, emergency resources. Uh, five nuts and bolts and five cogs. Do you know what? Let's get that done as well whilst we're right here. Um, yeah, so five nuts and bolts and five cogs. Um, that's a piston. Nuts and bolts there. One, two, three, four, five of those. Oh, hang on. We've got a job. Oh, yeah, he's repairing the thing, isn't he? Hang on. So do five of those. Um, oh. Who did I just tell to do that then? Hang on, was it not Ronald? Oh, did I cancel the order? Hang on a minute, that's fine then. <laughs> so five lots of those and five cogs. One, two, three, four, five. Splendid. Right, confirm that. Down you go, Ronald. That will complete another job for them and that gets the reputation up. Nice and simple. I love those easy jobs. Really nice, easy task. Okay, good stuff. Right, send that back to them. Contact faction. Hello, new order. Job continue. Splendid stuff. Okay, right, so that's them sorted. Anybody else got any easy kind of part quest? Ooh, pipes and ropes. Yeah, okay, accept that, continue that. That's done pretty much straight away. That's very handy. Um, Los Muertos don't need to bother. Church of Hope don't need to bother. CTK mob. Here we go. No, they're just sort of rescuey and fighty, kidnappy ones. Black Roses. Sorry we had to kill some of your people. Um... Yeah, again, just capture or kind of, you know, rescue mission type stuff. Uh, that's unfortunate because we haven't even started their um their kind of quest thing yet, have we? We don't even know what that is. Either the Black Roses one or the CTK mob one. Okay, never mind, never mind. At least we're kind of moving things on with some of the factions, if not all of them. Just thinking about it, do we need to build another garage down here now to put our kind of great big pickup truck frame thingamajig in? I rather think we might need to do that. Hang on a minute, Barbara. Can we actually get that done? K 
Can we build one of those? Do we have the materials? Um, where is it? Garage. We've got enough cement, just enough limestone, just. Um, yeah, bulbs. Ah, we're lacking a motor. I think you can probably cobble together a motor. I think you're probably fine for doing that. So, yeah, go make one motor, please, Barbara. Hopefully you can, uh, hopefully you can find how to do that. There we go. Um, and now, yeah, I think we probably do want to get that done. And then we can take that kind of big vehicle thing out of storage because it is quite cumbersome. Um, yeah, okay. Let's put that, I don't know, next to the other garage. Makes sense. Have a little kind of, you know, sort of garage mechanic area down there. It's a shame we built those bits first. We could have saved the cement or whatever, but never mind. Never mind. That's fine. That's how it goes. Um, and then, can we make any more cement whilst we're there? No, we haven't got any limestone. However, we've got some rocks. So let's make three lots of that, please, after you're done. That's going to be very handy. But yeah, right now, big job down here of getting this whole garage thing set up. Okay, Barbara is done. Look at that. We have ourselves a second garage, which is very nice. So here we go. Add vehicle chassis. Add the pickup truck chassis. Oh, it's huge. It's huge and looks very beaten up. Okay, modify vehicle. What do we need? Oh, we need a bajillion things. Alternators, car batteries, clutch cables, all these things. I'm not entirely sure what they do. Okay, so let's have a look. So uh, yeah, the Voyager F50 is a pickup truck. Very nice. Um, it has a unique body. Yep, and it's it's easily recognizable and iconic. I saw this and I thought, do you know what that is? That's a Voyager F50. I don't need the uh, tech to tell me that. I know what it is. Um, great fuel economy and reliable use. Okay, so four people can go out in this. It can carry 200 pounds worth of stuff, decrease the party tiredness by 25%, travel speed up by 150% but it does need two petrol to actually keep running. Okay, okay, that's fine. And we have got some of these parts by the look of it. It looks like we have got all, have we got all of those? We haven't got all of those things, have we? I'm pretty sure we haven't got all of these things. But um, yeah, we're lacking four tires, which I mean, unless we're gonna sort of move it around in a Flintstone style kind of way by sticking our feet through the floor and pushing it along. I think maybe they're quite important as well. Um. I mean, yeah, what's on our what's on our bike? Hang on, modify that. We've got a distributor on that, and that's it. Have we got another distributor then? I would assume. Can we detach the tire? Okay, hang on, hang on. Remove the tire from there. This is intriguing, isn't it? Um oh hang on. Is that a job? Is that a job that Ronald has to do? Uh I don't know. I've kind of had Ronald selected. Hang on a minute, so modify vehicle because we should have a tire. We took the tire off. Oh, don't tell me that tire has vanished into nothingness. Um, no, remove the tire. Doesn't, oh no, hang on. I know what I'm not doing. Hang on a second. Remove the tire, confirm. There we go. That gives Ronald a job down here in garage number one. Um, oh, hello, Harold. Sorry, I completely, completely ignored you. I do apologize. Yeah, give you the items. It's great stuff. Yay, resources. Woo. Right, okay, there you go. 42 reputation with the old clan. Um, yeah, you can clear off. There should be a um, a new order person coming by as well, but that's fine. Um, okay, so you get that done. So now he's taken the tire off. So now if we modify this vehicle, we should be able to put on a tire. And then if we got all of these things, we've got a starter motor. We've got a spark plug. We have a fan belt. We have a just no way do we have all these things. We've got a clutch cable. We have a battery, and we have an alternator. Really? Where did we get all the? Where do we get an alternator from that does the alternating of the stuff? You know, the very important alternating. Is it this way? Is it that way? I, who knows? It alternates. Um, the alternator knows. Obviously, I'm. I'm amazed. I am. I am flabbergasted. My flabber is well and truly gasted that we have all of these bits. Okay, yes, confirm that. Absolutely. Ronald, great big kind of mechanic job for you to do. But that's very exciting. That means we need three tyres and then we can go driving about in a pickup truck, which is going to be wonderful. And that makes things a lot quicker. And it means we can bring back an awful lot more stuff. And by the look of it, I think maybe the wind has dropped upon the surface. So we are now relying on the incinerator to generate some power. Yep, got no fuel down there in the generators. So yeah, let's put a little bit more stuff into the incinerator, I think. We've got some more coal. Just chuck that bit of coal in and that bit of coal for now. That'll keep it going for another 12 hours. Very nice indeed. So there we go. We've now got 
quite a bit of fuel, 56.4 hours remaining. Yeah, that's well over two days. There we go, so that'll keep burning for a good long while. And we have Harold here to come and pick up the stuff that we promised for the new order. There we go, everything is in order. Yep, 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 plus 42, very nice indeed. Um, is it worth going back and sort of uh, chatting to them again? Do you need us to do something else? Um, no, not, not in regard to your quest anyway. Um, I assume none of these things are different. I assume none of these jobs are different now. I assume it's the same stuff that we saw last time. Just a very quick sort of flying check. Yeah, nothing we can do there. And nothing that we can do there. Okay, never mind. Bit of a shame. Okay, Betty, come and harvest these potatoes, please. That would be very exciting indeed. So there we go. You sort that out. Very good. That's a load of potatoes. Uh, now, can we plant some tomatoes? That'd be handy because then we can make tomato soup and that's all good. You know, I'm trying to keep the sort of the food supply coming. But tomatoes and potatoes, nice and easy to grow in here. Not overly kind of nutritious, but yeah, you can make so sort of, yeah, they can have two or three bowls of tomato soup to keep things ticking over nicely. Those two just had a bit of an argument. Sorry about that. I don't like it when you all fall out. Joe you know what, Barbara? Have some tea. Go and have some tea. William has fixed the wind turbine. Oh, I didn't tell William to go and fix the wind turbine. William, are you just out there doing important jobs on your own? Oh, well done. Good job. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's good. That's using your initiative. Uh, right, go and water those plants, please, because they're looking a little bit dry. Oh, you need to get in. You need to get in, Will. There's a dust storm and it's not pleasant at all. Right, so you come back down in here, please. I think we should get Expedition Party 2 ready to go for a bit of a jaunt up on the surface. So Barbara and Ronald and Kathleen and Helen, get them all ready and rested and fed and watered and all that kind of stuff. And they can go up onto the surface and they can do a spot of fighting with the New Order over here, which is going to be a little bit awkward, let's be honest. But there we go. So go and do a bit of fighting over there. And then I'm thinking maybe they could come back down here and have another nose around these car parks because they might find some tyres which might be really useful. And then possibly, could they, I don't know, just kind of have a wander down here maybe? Or have a wander over here? Just, you know, maybe uncover a little bit more of the map because the map does seem quite big. I mean, I don't know how close to the edge it goes. In fact, hang on, hang on. As I look at it, there is a kind of bit of a shape there. I wonder if that is the edge of the map right there. So it doesn't necessarily go all the way into the corners because that would be quite big. But I mean, there is something down there Oh, that's the obvious trap. Obvious trap is obvious right there. Um, but yeah, maybe it's worth just having a little poke around down here just to see what's there. But yeah, if they could maybe go and find some tyres, that would be really, really handy. That'd be super helpful. And then we can go driving in a big truck around the wasteland, which will be very, very exciting indeed. Um, and then, yeah, at some point as well, we do need to go up here, give Frank all his VHS cassettes that we keep happening across. And then we do need to go over there and have a little bit of a fight with whoever's in that kind of TV station so then we can get more studio equipment for the old clan to continue their quest as well. So plenty to do. However, the big news is that, of course, hang on, hang on, contact faction. The big news is that the Church of Hope are eradicated. We did it. We did it, Bernard. Betty is all emotional. They're all very happy that Betty is still so, you know, trying to come to terms with this kind of feeling she has that finally the people that took her husband away from her have been dealt with. So um, yeah, the church are no longer a problem. We're no longer going to have to keep burying church people in our front garden here <laughs> because they're not going to be a problem with us anymore. I don't think as well any of the other factions are going to come and attack us. I don't think they're going to come in because we're sort of okay with them. We're kind of okay with the other factions. Possibly not really, again, as we said earlier, with the CTK mob, I do have a sneaky suspicion that maybe we are going to have to go and possibly have a fight with them rather than become their buddies. But that's okay. You know, if we take two out and then you know, become buddies with four factions, you know, sort of uh, four out of six ain't bad. That's okay. That's okay. But there we go. Plenty to do next time. Absolutely loads of stuff for us to be getting on with. So we'll do all that kind of stuff when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Shelter 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lifts even though they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh. 
Snow Coyote.